Today we're marking the day against child execution. And I think we know where religious law, and in particular Sharia law, is imposed. Children are one of the first victims. For example, in Iran, is one of the countries that still execute minors. Um, we have Bahar Milani, a social activist from Iran Solidarity, that since June this year, they've been every day in Trafalgar Square raising awareness and gaining support for that movement, which is part of, there's a movement, actually part of us, basically, trying against the Sharia in Iran. And you see, I think, um, children's coffin in front. I think that represents every child that's been executed and I think there are quite a, over a hundred children waiting to be executed in Iran and that's terrible and that's part of the Sharia. Law. Can I have Bahar here? Bahar Milani? She wants to say a few words about what she's doing. Uh, hello everybody. Yes, I am Bahar Milani and I am uh, doing things for, to stop child execution in Iran. It's, uh, m uh, eight children just 2009 were executed in Iran and there is 130 more who are waiting to be executed. Every day you open the news to look, you can see another child, another child. And people across the globe been doing things, signing petition, sending their, uh, uh, their uh, objection to this uh, act. But the government of Iran will not listen. They are stubborn to do what they are doing. They keep executing children in Iran. But don't, I'm not surprised at this moment. Don't think they, they are power in power doing this. The government in Iran, the Islamic government in Iran, more than ever, is really in, in a desperate situation. You know the revolution in Iran. People came out, millions and millions, to say they don't want this Islamic government. And what the Islamic government do is keep executing, keep putting people in jail, torturing, attacking women in the streets, just because to stop the revolution. But I have two demands, one from the uh, European government and US government, one from the people. First, my demand is, please, Mr. Obama and Mr. Government in yeah, Brown in UK and others, we don't want anything from you. We don't want any support from you. The only thing we want is stay away from our way. We are here to fight. Our people in Iran, you have seen, they are undefeated and we are here to do the same things. We have massive support, global, from the people, from the human lovers, from the freedom lovers. We have massive of support. We have the huge amount of potential. We just have to make it as a force come out and stand in front of the government. We don't let you do what you're doing. We will stop you. We have the power and we have to show them. The, the simplest way, if a child in the school in the UK doing something wrong, they just uh, punish them, sending them to, you know, better. But they don't know what to do with the governments of Iran. The uh, embassy is still is there. They can attend any meeting they want because the government in Europe and US letting them to do it. Please support us. Come, come in the uh, common front, support us. Let's be a force. We are united and we never will defeat it. We, we, are, we are the one who go to the end of the way to, uh, to bring governments of Iran down, to not let Sharia go, do miserable for children and women. Uh, please support us. We are united. We will never be defeated.